Hello everyone, I am Mayank and welcome to Simply Learn. Today we will take you through the hands-on lab demo of how you can automate Excel using Python. Before we start, I hope the screen is clearly visible and the audio is fine. If yes, please type in yes in the chat section. If there are any issues, do let us know in the chat section so that we can resolve them. I am repeating again. Before we start, I hope the screen is clearly visible and the audio is fine. If yes, please type in yes. If there are any issues, do let us know in the chat section so that we can resolve them. Let's wait for some more minutes to let other people join. So I'm waiting for some more minutes to let other people join. Okay, till then, let me tell you guys that we have regular updates on multiple technologies. If you are a tech geek in a continuous hunt for the latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss any update from Simply Learn. Let me tell you guys that we have regular updates on multiple technologies. If you are a tech geek in a continuous hunt for the latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss any update from Simply Learn. Great, I think we can get started. So in today's session, we will go through what is Excel. After that, we will see what is Python and moving forward, we will see what is automation and where it is used. At the end, we will see a hands-on lab demo like how you can automate Excel with Python in detail. We already have dataset with us. We will perform different function and automate Excel dataset using Python. Before we move on to the programming part, Let's discuss what is Excel first and importance of the same. So Microsoft developed Microsoft Excel, a spreadsheet for Windows, Mac OS, Android and iOS. It has calculating or computing capabilities, graphing tools, pivot table and the visual basic for applications. The Microsoft Office program package includes Excel. Users of Microsoft Excel may format arrange and compute data in a spreadsheet. Data analysts and other analysts can make information easier to examine as data is added or altered by organizing data using tools like Excel. The boxes in Excel are referred to as cell and they are arranged in a row and column. The key features of Excel are the spreadsheet document in MS Excel can have headers and footers and user can protect their data by giving it password protection. And the second one is filtering is supported allowing you to locate the necessary data in your spreadsheet and replace it with the appropriate value. After discussing what is Excel, let's go through and see what is Python. So Python is the one of the most popular programming language available today. It is widely used in various sectors of business such as programming, web development, machine learning and data science. Given its spreadsheet use, it is not surprising that Python has surpassed Java as a top programming language. Python frequently used to create software, website, and to perform data analysis and many more. Because Python is a general purpose language, it may use to develop a wide range of programs and isn't tailored for any particular issues. So the key features of Python are, it is open source and free. Python can be downloaded from the company official website. It is simple to download and install. Python is open source because allowing users with solid technical background to modify the code to suit certain business use case and product requirements. Since Python is a language for beginners, most anyone with an understanding of programming can quick pick it up and begin coding. So after seeing what is Python, let's move forward and see what is automating Excel with Python. We all know Python is dominant everywhere. And we also know that compared to other language, Python is beginner friendly and simpler to use. Automation is the one of the coolest thing you can do with Python. So how to automate an Excel sheet in Python? Imagine that you are asked to create accounts for 30,000 employees on a website. What would you think? You will undoubtedly become frustrated carrying out this task manually and repeatedly. Additionally, it will take too much time, which is not the wise choice. So just try to picture that what it is like for employees who work in data entry. Their responsibility is to extract the data from tables like Excel or Google Sheet and insert it in the another location. 
they read various magazines and website get the data there and they are entered it into the database additionally they must perform the calculation for the entries in general this job performance determines how much money is made greater entry volume more pay of course everyone wants a higher salary in their job so however don't you find doing the same things over and over boring the question is now how can i accomplish it quickly and how to automate my work spend an hour in coding and automating these kind of codes to make your life simpler rather than performing these kinds of things by hand by just writing few lines of python code you can automate your laborious activity in simpler so overall python excel automation is a creative method that allow you to build visual reports on python in a smoother manner similar to how you would on excel businesses can use python excel automation to streamline their operation in accordance with their requirements so here is one question for you guys i will give you one minute for this you can comment or you can give answer in chat section so i can see the answers are given by you are correct or not i'm repeating again here is one question for you guys i will give you one minute for this you can comment or you can give your answer in chat section so i can see if the answers given by you are right or wrong so the question is which type of programming does python support object oriented programming structured programming functional programming and all of the mention so i am repeating again which type of programming does python support option a object oriented programming option b structured programming functional programming and all of the mention so i am starting the timer of 1 minute just type your answers in comment section or in chat section do let me know your answers guys so like please i want that everyone should participate in this so i am starting the timer so so your time starts now so i want that everyone should participate in this guys please do let me know your answer in chat section or in comment section so i can see if the answers given by you are right or wrong so like 36 seconds or more is guys i want that everyone should participate in this so do let me know your answers in chat section or comment section so you can just type the answers or a b c d your wish totally your wish so so 10 seconds are left guys hurry up please i want that everyone should participate in this 5 second more okay so time is over we will give reply those who gave correct answers and those who didn't give correct answer we will give you a reply with the correct answer okay so no worries so now let's move to our programming part to perform excel automation using python so first we will open command prompt to write command to open jupyter notebook jupyter notebook yeah so this is the landing page of jupyter notebook and select open select here new open new file so this is how the jupyter notebook ui looks like so at first we will import some major libraries of python which will help us in importing our workbook or worksheet so the first one is uh, let me first rename this we will write auto meeting using python yeah sounds good okay so the first one is open py excel open py excel okay i have to write import yeah perfect so a python package called open py excel can read and write excel 2010 xlx format xlsm format xltx and xltm files it was created since there was no library that could read and write office open xml files natively from python since open py excel was initially based on php excel all praise to the php excel team 
So open PYXL does not by default provide protection from your quadratic blow up or billion laughter XML assault. Install diffused XML to protect yourself from these assaults. So we will write open PYXL and then like yeah. So then we will write uh, uh, for importing our workbook. So we can write here from open py excel import workbook import underscore workbook this capital here so and this is for code for the importing our workbook so let me write in command like you can import workbook like this so i can write you can import workbook this okay perfect yeah so here so let me import workbook then so I have to write WB for workbook equals to load underscore workbook the destination of the workbook so uh, the destination is in like desktop so I have to write C users LP09 this on five stop dash automation dash Elon dot cell SX format. Okay, cool. Users SLP this one desktop automation simply learn dot xlx fine. So our workbook is loaded to Jupyter notebook. We can see yeah perfect no error. So let's uh, active this workbook for the use. So we have to write ws for worksheet. So worksheet equals to wb dot active. Active like import from open PY Excel a workbook there must be always been one worksheet in a workbook it is accessible through the workbook dot property active so that's why we have write wb dot active so after making workbook active so we will print our workbook like we can print so print ws so here so here you can see the sheet one so it is showing worksheet sheet one why sheet one because if you open your workbook and see here is your worksheet name like i can so this is my automation file no. this is simply learn so here you can see the sheet one that is why it is showing sheet one there so uh, okay so let me just finish it so moving forward let's change the worksheet name so I will write here import open PYXL. So like it's your wish that you want to write this import file or like this thing. This is not necessary at all. So now I will import the workbook. So I will write here WB equals to open PYXL dot load underscore workbook 
वन पी वाई एक्स एल इट इज माई बैट सॉरी गाइज सो यू हैव टू गिव द पाथ सो आई कैन कॉपी पाथ फ्रॉम हेयर या परफेक्ट ओके साउंड गुड Here wb underscore sheet equals to wb and square brackets. Then you have to write the sheet name. So there we have sheet one, sheet one. So sheet one, okay, correct. So I can change with wb underscore sheet dot title sheet dot title. equals to quote with simply learn perfect yeah seems good let me save this wd dot save and the same copy here paste yeah so when a sheet is generated it immediately receives a name like they have sequential numbers of names like sheet sheet 1 sheet 2 and so on with the worksheet you can modify this name whenever you want to like using the title property so here let me save this and yeah no error so again go to simply learn yeah you can see code with simply learn first it was sheet 1 and now it is changed to code with simply learn so let me cut this again okay so if you want to change the color of your sheet name tab where is written code with simply learn so you can write uh, like here you can write wd or oh, okay let me make this new one okay right i will write here so underscore sheet dot sheet underscore properties app color color was to here you have to give hex values so four zeros okay so let me save this okay it is saying sheet 1 why sheet 1 because we already changed sheet 1 to code with simply learn so what we have to do is here we have to write code with simply learn simply learn okay same same simply learn simply learn same code code yeah so what i will do here i will just make w capital so yeah now it will work fine yeah so if you save or run your code uh, like like this let me let me show you one thing uh, like color is already changed wait for one minute guys i will show you something crazy so it will see like this w okay so here i will small so if you save or run your code not actually save but run your code while your excel sheet is open so my excel sheet is open code will simply learn okay. so my excel sheet is open so it will give you error like wait a I repeat. Like what error? This. Okay. Let me do one thing. This is one. Okay. It will give you. Simply learn one does not exist. Let me check. This is simply learn. Code with simply learn. One. Code with. Okay. W is capital there. Okay. See this is a. Permission denied. 
than the location it is showing permission denied so this is something important to remember that excel file should be closed while running the code i am repeating again so like this is something important to remember that excel file should be closed while running the code so first what i have to do is close the excel file then i have to run it again so no error now so here you can see what we simply learn that red color came yeah perfect so moving forward let's create new workbook till we were working on the same worksheet which was present in my like desktop so let's create new workbook so for that i have to write import excel as x writer so i will write here in command to create new workbook wd equals to excel sx writer dot workbook and where you want to save the workbook so i will give the same path but with different name so this time i will give only like coders simply okay yeah, simply coders then i will write wd close close okay i will run it yeah so the primary class export by the xls writer module in the workbook class and that is only class you will need to instantiate directly so the workbook class represent both the whole spreadsheet as it appears in the excel and the excel file as it is stored on the disk internally so you can see now yeah you can see now the workbook which is created in the desktop with the same name is like simply coders so this is done let's move forward and let's retrieve cell values so right now we are not having any data inside the workbook so let's put some random values like names and all so uh, i will put some random values we'll put here names okay here mayank kaushal okay wow like chali it roi so let's save it let's save it and let's move to our coding part so here what i have to write to retrieve cells here i just write a equals to a is variable here so i am assigning is ws that a1 value the value which is presented it a1 so here i will write in comments like to retrieve cells okay so here i will print print a okay okay what i have to do is like we have created this one file so it's it is not giving the uh, this is giving sheet 1 dot a1 why because it is taking from the simply coders one so what i can do is i can import this file because we have saved data in this file so it paste this here and make it active get active yeah so yeah you know i haven't write here value 
so that is why it is giving the cell name and that a1 name cell name a1 only so now it will print names why is why names because at the a1 at the a1 position we have names so if you want to like print anjali so what you have to do is okay let me check this b3 okay if you want to print anjali you have to just write here just copy paste this code okay just write here the location b3 so you can see anjali is printed so this is how you can retrieve cells and we can do the same for the other cells too so there is one thing like retrieving we can change the cells values too so just we have to write here so let me give first enter 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 for the better visual yeah so here what we can write is ws like i want to change the name of uh, name of name of uh i will take this a4 smith okay, let me close this okay i will give here a4 dot value equals to here you can give the value so here you can write smith you can write john here as a replace value so i will write here in as a command change cell value okay so what you have to do is just save it wb dot save you have to give the path for the same yeah fine so let me save this and let me save this first and run this first okay no error and let's open our workbooks to see the changes so here you can see the changes has been implemented in our workbook first there it was like smith and now john so like this you can change the cell values and let's move forward and see how we can merge the cells in a worksheet so like just close this and yeah so we are doing for the merging cells so here i will write from open pyxl dot styles styles import alignment so here i will write merge cells for your better understanding okay so here i have to write wb equals to workbook okay let me active this workbook wb dot active merge to the cell set which one uh, let's take for a while a1 and b2 okay a and b should be in capital letters so after that we have to save this we will save in this only so i can copy i can paste it here okay fine like using merge underscore cells and after giving cell position you can easily merge the cell so let's see the output so let me open this simply learn file you can see the mer they are merged together and like but what if you want the values at the same times so you can write here i have to cut this
so you can write here like from open py excel dot styles port alignments alignment a should be capital alignment okay so the same thing you have to write wdb equals to workbook ws equals to wb dot active don't have to give parenthesis ws dot merge underscore cells cells a1 b2 so here I have to give the cell value equals to ws dot cell which row which column so I can write row equals to 1 column equals to 1 so cell dot value equals to here you can give the value which you want to print in at the cell so here I will write code with simply learn okay fine so what we can do this we can give the alignment alignment equals to alignment horizontal horizontal equals to center and from vertical and from vertical the same center yeah let me save this file wb dot save at the same location so I can copy the path from here copy here and paste here so I will yeah, seems good let me save this why it is giving error uh, cell object has no attribute alignment ok alignment spelling is wrong sorry my bad G and M E and T it seems good now oh good to go so so here you can see like by giving row equals to one column equals to one basically position and after giving the value to what to print on that cell and one more thing is alignment like it is not necessary to give alignments like I just wrote it to cover it uh, like in video so you can give alignments like uh, right left this time I gave the center to print in the center so let's uh, move and see the results so you can see the value has been printed exactly at the center of the cell well I will make it like this you can see the value is printed exactly at the center of the cell because I gave the alignment center so let's do one more for like to see what is the default place if we don't give the alignments okay if you don't give the center alignments what is the default value so let me first remove this okay save no issues okay yeah so align alignments or here what we can do is like from open py excel dot styles import alignment it is not necessary to write import alignments okay this is without okay I can write is default view 
seems good okay everything we have to cover from here so I can just copy from here and paste it here so what we will do here we will change the cell value we will use like C6 and B8 <coughs> sorry guys so uh, here I have to give row equals to 6 and column must be 8 so let make it be C6 B6 okay let's column should be 6 so uh, code with simply learn coders of simply learn coders of simply learn like we are giving the value so at the same time we have to just save it wb dot save save copy paste here okay so this time we are not giving the alignments you can see here we have gave alignments not now so let's run this and after that we will open our workbook so this is saying merge cells okay 2 must be greater than 3 okay so here what is happening okay I can write here d6 right so now it will run uh, properly I guess yeah it's working so let me open this so you can see this is the default value of like uh, it. so here you can see the value is printed at its default location not in centered or not in right not in left it is default location so till now we know how to merge cell so I repeat I hope you guys understand till here if you have any questions or any query regarding any code or question just put as in comments our team will shortly provide you the correct solution so moving forward till now we know how to merge cell so let's learn how to unmerge cell okay so let me open the code yeah let me open the code and write for you so let me quickly write the code how we can merge cells so we can write open okay from from open by excel dot styles so just I can copy paste from here I have to write here import alignments okay. alignment only so what we are doing here though we will not give any value or any this so here I will remove like b6 actually we can give like a 6 b6 as a value so let's see the cells are merged or not by running it okay see permission denied because our excel was open so let me save this and close it and run it again no error so, so here you can see let me zoom if I can yeah so here you can see a6 and b6 are merged so what should I do to unmerge I have to write as yes, you can write here like Where you can write ws dot unmerge underscore cells okay cells got it and just give this same value a6 underscore b6 
okay colon b6 let me save this again no error let me open the file so you can see here a6 and b6 now unmerged so by just using unmerged cells you can easily unmerge the cells in your workbook so let's move forward and see how can you set dimensions for a particular cell or column so let me close this and go to the workbook again this is something frustrating by like by regularly doing the same thing going next 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 Oof. so like you need a particular column height should be something and width should should be something so that is what i'm like meant to be dimensions so let's write code for it you will see and understand by seeing so import open py excel hashtag to set dimensions of a particular cell okay wb equals to open py excel dot workbook worksheet equals to workbook dot active ws dot row underscore dimension okay one i will explain you don't worry height equals to uh, 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 let me give 70 for a while a ws dot column underscore dimension width i will explain you don't worry don't worry it so let me save the file wb dot save and let me copy the path from here okay everything seems good okay why column okay column name is like function no column dimension okay dimensions no error so like one height 70 and b width is 8 column 1 let me open the workbook so here you can see by giving row dimension and column dimension and by adding height and width them we can set the dimension for a particular cell y1 and b for this you can see a uh, one for the column like two for the column three for the column let me zoom it you can see now one for the all the one column row two for the two row three for the three row like this for you can say i use one for the particular row or you can say one for denoting row particular row one two three four five six like this okay i repeat and particular alphabet to denote the column see a for this column b for this column c for this column d for this column like this okay so here you can see every cell of row one has the same height this 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 and every cell of it and every cell of column b has same width b has same width so like we can do one more thing we can print value though in a particular cells like okay let me close this and open the with this one so what can i do is i can write here we can write at wd cell row equals to one comma column equals to one 
ओके डॉट वैल्यू इक्वल्स टू हेलो ओके एंड डब्ल्यू एस डॉट सेल हेयर आई विल राइट रो इक्वल्स टू टू कॉमा कॉलम इक्वल्स टू टू डॉट वैल्यू डॉट वैल्यू इक्वल्स टू कोडर्स so i have to write it here not below this yeah okay cool let me give this space line okay so let me save this and let me check so here you can see hello is for the uh, row 1 and coder at the column b okay fine so let me close this and okay next i repeat next let's see how we can move data to a particular row or column or you can say a particular cell here we need data to make it move so let's fill some random data on it so what i can do is i can put some random data of like fruit vegetables and some names <laughs> like mayank anjali ubhav koshal ana and i we can give like anything is smith John and Chloe, Sara and Ed, Sajin. Okay, I guess, I think this much is enough. So let me save this and yeah. So data part is done and let's move to the this one and write import open py excel. so let me write here move cell you can say move or jump whatever you want to say so from open py excel import workbook comma load underscore workbook will be equals to load can give the path like this yeah c and v okay let's make it active w is equals to wb dot active perfect seems good okay so i have to move ws dot move score range this is i can give okay let me see the data first okay i will make anubhav here and mayank here or here okay so let's see again i forgot it is b Five and A four, B five A four. Okay. So what we can do it uh, like O B e five comma uh, like row was two two and call. E rows equals to two and calls equals to two. So let me save this. W dot save 
and we so here what i am doing is changing the position of the value which is present in the location uh, a4 and b5 so and moving them by you can see the value will jump by two rows and two columns because i gave here two rows rows equals to 12 columns equals to 2 so let me save this run this okay and so here you can see so let me run this and what you have to do is open this file yeah so you can see a2 means 1 2 it comes fruit comes here and coders come here so this is how you can move your coding part i repeat so this is how you can move the cell values so let's move forward and the so moving forward let's see how we can insert a row in a workbook okay so first what i will do is i will add some data like name here like fruits and something like car and here i can write bike and footer. okay something here coding okay all the data is filled and uh, all rows are filled by some values so here we have no like no empty row present here till now so what we will do is we will insert a row okay so what we have to write is import open py excel hashtag insert rows okay from open p p cell import workbook comma load underscore workbook so load We copy the path C okay. So let me make it active. If so I want to insert row. the position 2 and one more row at the position 5 so let me save this I will copy from here okay I will make it like this so let me save this no error let's move to the workbook you can see here row 2 is created and row 5 is created with no values so here you can see uh, rows are added to the particular position or you can say the indexes so we have seen how we can insert the rows let's see the deletion of the rows so what we can write is let me open the code so what we can write is let me copy to save our time okay just delete this so we can write ws dot delete underscore rows and which row 2 5 uh, I will delete uh, row number 2 for a while so let me save this and run this so you now you can see empty row 2 is deleted so by using insert rows and giving them index you can insert the row at the index position 
you gave and meanwhile you can use delete underscore rows function to delete the particular row so moving forward let's quickly write code for the insert column so for inserting column i will copy from here yeah insert row column and this one is for deleting row okay so i have to write here ws dot active not active sorry insert uh, calls at the position second okay at the position one and okay i will make it insert calls at the position three okay let me save this file by copying this path Okay, saving. Let me do one thing. Yeah, perfect. So let me open the workbook. So here, what I have done is insert call at second position. Here we can't give alphabet. We have to give a number for denoting a position. So here you can see the column is added at the position one and three. So by using insert underscore calls. and by giving index you can insert column in your workbook so let's do one thing guys okay first let me close this and yeah so what i was saying that let do one thing guys you will tell me how can i delete a particular column okay let me write here the question comments like how can you delete a particular particular column okay uh, i am giving you 1 minute for this just comment the code for this column deletion or else you can reply on chat i will suggest you to write a comment because after this session our team can easily check who gave the correct answer and who didn't give the correct answer don't worry i will provide you the answers at the end of the session or our team will reply at your comment at the same time so uh, like for those who are watching this video like we watch normal video means you are not watching the live session so what you can do is just pause the video right now and put the comment how you can delete the column i am repeating again i will suggest you to write a comment because after this session our team can easily check who gave the correct answer and who didn't give the correct answer don't worry i will provide you the answer at the same time uh, or our team will reply at your comment at the same time and those who are watching the video like we watch normal video so that you can do is just you can pause this video and put the comment how you can delete the column So I guess time is up guys I hope most of you gave the correct answers by putting comments we will verify your comments and we will back to you soon so okay moving forward let's see how we can style the font in excel okay this is something crazy and interesting so you will not get bored and writing from open py excel dot styles import font so here i will write for your styling okay so what i can do is like wb is equals to open py excel dot workbook ws dot equals to wb dot active i will don't worry i will explain you row equals to 1 comma column equals to 1 equals to 
Mm. Lilan. Okay. And I will set the size of the cell. So WS equals to cell row equals to one comma column equals to one dot value okay, here I have to write font equals to font equals to font and here I have to write size equals to 24 okay here I have to give dot value Now we can do it for the many others. What we will do it is we will change hello not world again. We will write coder. Hello coders and here we will write code with simply learn. And here we will write hello YouTube. Okay. So what I will do is like it will two column two row two two here. Here what I will do is font size equals to 24 and and I will make it italic equals to true okay fine and I will make it old old equals to true and here I will give Three, three, three. Okay, and at the end, what I can do is okay, bye. Times new. Let me save it quickly. WB dot save. With a fat. So let's run this and see the result. So let's run this again. One more time. So here what I did is just gave the particular row and column value where we want to print the value like simply learn hello coders hello YouTube code with simply learn okay and by using font I am giving the font size and font like italic bold and so on like this is italic this is bold okay and here you can see at the end by using name here you can see at the end by using name we are assigning the styles of the particular text like times new roman and you can give the name of your choice so why it is not because i have gave the it is, it is collapsing so here i have write 444 okay now it will it is collapsing now hello youtube and simply learn so what I will do is now I will run now you can see yeah perfect so this is simple one this is it in italic this is in bold and this hello YouTube is in times new Roman style okay 
सो ओके लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड एंड डू समथिंग विद सेल्स लाइक वट वी कैन डू इट लेट्स डू कलर दैम ओके लेट्स राइट कोड फॉर दिस हाउ वी कैन लाइक कलर अ पर्टिकुलर सेल वी नो हाउ टू कलर द पर्टिकुलर टैप ऑफ शीट एंड लेट्स कलर इट सो वी कैन राइट इज इम्पोर्ट ओपन पी वाई एक्सएल फिर आई विल राइट कलरिंग पर्टिकुलर सेल ओके आई विल फर्स्ट कॉपी दिस थिंग ओके आई डोंट थिंक आई वॉन्ट दिस आई हैव टू राइट फ्रॉम ओपन पी वाई एक्सएल स्टाइल्स ओट Pattern fill. I want something like this. Okay, so wd dot open pyxl workbook. So here I can write open pyxl dot load workbook. Okay, workbook, and here I will give the path. Yeah, it seems good. So what I will do is make it active, and I can write here W S equals to W B square brackets. Then I can write uh, name of working sheet. I don't remember only sheet. Sheet. So we can write here fill underscore cell equals to pattern fill a t t pattern type should be I will prefer solid. Okay, and comma. comma fg color color foreground color equals to i will write here f c 2 c 0 3 okay fine we can make four cells four cells Four cells are enough, I guess. So we can write here cell one. Paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. So we'll four, three, two. Solid, solid, solid. Yeah. So let's change color. We can give zero, three, F C, F four. Here I will give three uh, five F C zero three. Perfect. Here I can give oh F C A zero three. So now let me assign. me assign the cells to them ws like uh, i can assign a a1 sign a2 dot fill equals to fill let's go cell okay yaar fill underscore cell one 
That seems good. This I can make it for four. V V V. A two, A four, A five, A three. Everything seems good. Let me save this. So I will copy from here. Why error permission denied? Because it was open. So let me cut this. So let me see. So here I'm using the pattern field to fill the color in solid style and giving the FG color like foreground color. And at the below you can see I'm like assigning the cells to a particular pattern field cells. So let's see the output. Yeah, it's working here. You can see the results. We colored these for the particular cell like A2, A3, A4, A5. So this is something you can style the color. So let's move forward and see how we can import the image in our workbook. Like something here, something here, something here. Let's see. So let me first cut this. Okay. Let me do one more thing. Yeah. Perfect. Coloring particular cell. So how we can import our file or image you can say. So I will write from open py excel port load underscore workbook okay load underscore workbook load underscore workbook and I have to write here from open py excel dot drawing dot image import image okay fine workbook right wd equals to load underscore workbook and give let me copy this and this whole so logo is for Variable used for the image, image. Okay, so I don't have any image for right now. Let me do one thing. Uh, let me import one image, any kind of image for a while. So I can do like, so this is my image. What can I do is, What can I do is I can give the path like uh, path would be same path would be same we will change here something don't worry don't worry next stop don't remember name of the file this is picture 2 P is small or capital P is capital so I have to write picture 2 dot png okay. so I will give logo dot height equals to 150 logo dot width equals to 150 a bit of resizing to not fill the whole spreadsheet with the logo so that's why just for that so ws dot add image to logo comma cell in which cell you want to print i will uh, m2 fine 
so here we will save it by using this one okay perfect cannot image import name image from opal find drawing during this one so might be there is problem open pyxl dot drawing dot image okay import image i think i is capital here yes. seems logo image okay i is capital here yeah it seems good yeah here is the picture so what i do is what can i do is so here we need one more library drawing image uh, variable logo this one is for the location of the image and giving and height and width because a bit of resizing to not fill the whole spreadsheet with a logo like with the whole spreadsheet with the logo so just a bit of resizing and add image function is used to append image on it and m2 is for like this m2 m2 is for position m to like that it's for in which cell you want to append it so image is is coming to the particular index m2 okay so this is how you can import image in excel using python okay let's move forward and see how we can import date and time so let's write code for that quickly okay so what i will do is i will write here import date time i will write date time from open py excel import workbook import So what can I do is make it W B equals to workbook. Okay, W should be capital here, and W S equals to W B dot active. So what can I write is W S dot cell row. One, comma, column, was to one. Dot, value, was to, date, and time. It's something. So I can try copy it. paste it what i can do is let me first change the three o equals to 3 okay column equals to 2 i guess value so here i can assign date and time date time dot date time dot now dot string format strf crf time so what you have to write it percent y percent m for month percent d for days percent h 
then percent m for minutes and percent seconds so that should be in between this okay yeah perfect so let me save this close it import data time not date time it's date time okay row equals to 1 data time not date time in date time dot now Date time dot date time dat date time so date time objects has no attribute strf time okay time it is yeah okay yeah finally it's working no errors so air like okay so here I have imported some libraries like date time and so on strf time used for string formatter and date time now used for the current date time this date time now is used for the current date time and so let's run this and see so here you can see the correct time and date is coming it can be different from your from which country you are watching this live session so what if you want to print the time after like two seconds late so for that we can write here quickly so i will copy this whole so like we have to copy this and just what you have to do is uh, let me make for to see the difference v v okay three are enough so what i will do is go four five okay fine what i will add here is time dot sleep how much second you want like two for this one and something for this one like five seconds for this one okay so what we can do is let's save it and let's see the results so here i've used the time dot slim function given parameter as two or four i guess five for printing the seconds difference so here you can see the difference in seconds okay the time is not coming wait wait let me check okay why permission denied sorry guys now i have to run it open it and it is not coming why so permission denied okay Let me run it again. Okay, okay, because I'm giving seconds difference, no? that, why, that is why it's giving permission denied. So let us wait for two, five, five seconds. Okay, I think five seconds are over. Now we can open it. Yeah, you can see. 47 seconds and 49 2 second difference and 49 54 5 second difference so here i've used the time sleep function given parameter as 2 5 for printing the second difference so let's move to the workbook uh, i repeat here you can see the difference in seconds so i hope you understand till here if you have any questions or any query regarding any code or question just put as in comment our team will shortly provide you the correct solution.
I'm repeating again. I hope you understand till here. If you have any questions or any doubt or any query regarding any code or whatever it is, so just put as in comments or our team will shortly provide you the correct solution. So moving forward, moving forward, let's see how we can add values as an array. Okay. So what I will write import xlsx writer wb equals to xlsx writer dot workbook. Okay, I will give the path from here. Okay, ws equals to wb dot add worksheet. W should not be capital here. Okay, so what I will do is row equals to zero and column equals to zero. Okay, so I will write here uh, data equals to and take is the names just names a just random names they are. Above, let's take one more Kisle. So, for item in data, okay. ws dot write. I will explain you line by line, don't worry. Row, comma column comma item perfect so here what I will do is row plus equals to 1 or you can write row equals to row plus 1 wb dot close ok let's save this let's see our data is appended or not Okay, first I will explain this code to you. So here I have created one new workbook uh, like uh, name. No, I haven't created. So let me create two. Okay, example. Okay. So I'll run this. Yeah, perfect. So here I, I repeat. So here I have created one new workbook name example. So at row 0, column 0, I am printing my content values like for data values using for loop, I am moving to the next iteration of the values like from Anju to Koshu and then Mayang, then so on. So let's see the results. Okay. Yeah. So here you can see all the values are printed. So using these codes of line, you can do things like this easily so as we know how to write multiple values at the same time what if if we want to retrieve values of a particular row or column so for that we need so we need data for that so let me add the full data of let, let me copy some data from somewhere so just give me a minute. Okay. It's the blank worksheet. Let me give me one minute, guys. Okay, what I will take is this one 
I can take this some values we can copy like uh, 50 values okay 50 is I know see We have data now. Simply learn. We have data in the simply learn. Okay. Now we can write code for that, like how to retrieve multiple column. So the same I want. See, let's do WB dot active. Okay, WS equals to WB. Red sheet column in worksheet A. Okay. So what I have to do is just print column values. Column dot value. I hope it will work. Uh, WB dot active. Work workbook object has no attribute active okay let me see Im okay sorry import open py excel excel as writer is used for to create new workbook okay open py excel dot load underscore workbook now it will work I guess Still, it is not working. Load. It should work, I guess. Open py excel. Open py excel. Dot load. Okay, okay. Sorry, my bad. Here, dot. Now it will work. Okay, sheet. It's too much. This is sheet one. You never know when the sheet will create sheet one. Yeah, you can see all the list of column A is printed here. All the 50 values and you can match from here to all the 50 values. Okay, till Travis Scott. So let me match this. Travis Scott okay so I hope you understand till here if you have any questions or any query regarding any code so just put as in comment or our team will shortly provide you the correct solution after doing importing exporting the values and all let's perform some basic operation like addition average and all okay so first we will start with the addition so I will write here so we need data in workbook for the addition so let's take some data from from which set the same insta data set so I will take this this the values are enough okay copy it and let me paste here so data we have let's code for it we have to write here import open py excel 
we are doing sum of columns not column column values values yeah like from open py excel import workbook comma load underscore workbook so wb equals to load underscore not workbook workbook copy the path okay so I will make it active so here what I'm doing is I will tell you shortly so it is in C I guess C or B which column of P so P 51 I guess yeah P 51 P should be capital equals to see carefully what I am doing like sum from B one one till b i guess 50 values we have 50 okay b should be capital my bad sorry okay this is what i am doing and wd dot save where is the save one So here I have added all the values which are between in the range of B1 to B50. And what I'm doing is the result will be displayed on the B51 cell. Okay. So let's run this code. Okay. Let's go to the B51. Yeah, result is coming for verifying the result is correct or not I won't use calculator for this uh, so we can use this uh, code for the same for average product and count so let's do it quickly okay so let me just copy paste this stuff see V this is will be for average a spelling mistake average okay what I will do is just write capital average here okay and I will print it to 52 okay code is almost same just one change like you have to write instead of sum you have to write average there and just okay let's see then so now you can see this is the 137 point something 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 is the average of these all values everything look good let's see the count quickly let's uh, we What is almost same just we have to okay capital 53 visible <laughs> okay this count will give you how many values are there between the range till 1 to 50 so let's check let's run it again and check if it's working or not yeah 49 values okay 
सो वट आई एम प्लानिंग इज लेट्स डू वन थिंग नाउ गाइज यू विल टेल मी हाउ आई कैन फाइंड द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर रेंज आई एम राइटिंग क्वेश्चन एज अ कमेंड एज आई डेट बिफोर सो हाउ टू ओके हाउ टू फाइंड प्रोडक्ट of numbers like where here where the range is between a a2 to a98 okay so i'm I'm giving you one minute for this. Just comment the code for this, uh, like multiplication, uh, or else you can reply on chat. You can write just syntax only for the product. I will suggest you to write a comment because after this session, our team can easily check who gave the correct answer and who didn't give the correct answer. Don't worry, I will provide the answers at the end of the session, or our team will reply at your comment at the same time. and those who are watching the video like we watch normal video or you are not attending the live session so you can just pause this video and comment on how we can find the product in excel using python i am repeating again i will suggest you to write a comment because after this session our team can easily check who gave the correct answer and who didn't give the correct answer don't worry i will provide you the answers at the end of the session or our team will reply at your comment at the same time those who are watching this video like we used to watch normal videos uh, so what you can do is just pause this video and comment on how we can find the product in excel using python so i guess time is up guys i hope most of you gave the correct answer by putting comments we will verify your comments and we will back to you soon so moving at the last of the session let's do something with charts so what i will do is first i will move it bit up yeah so let me write code for that for the chart so i will write from open py excel import workbook um open py excel dot chart import reference comma line chart okay we will create line chart wb equals to workbook ws equals to workbook dot active so after this i will set the chart title tit equals chart okay let me create the rows so rows equals to uh, i will do is i will create something like um, x ए कॉमा सेल कॉमा एजी सेल इस कॉमा नोट हियर comma and i have to give the values weeks are monday okay let me give the same put sales should be like 100 comma 200 tuesday 
comma two hundred comma three hundred Wednesday three hundred comma four hundred on the Thursday comma four hundred or twenty thirty twenty comma at a day. Sixty comma thirty. Okay, it seems good. Let me do like for rows. Okay, row in rows. Okay, W S dot append. Oh, values equals to reference ws comma min call equals to two comma min row equals to one comma max column equals to three. Comma max underscore row equals to seven. Okay, it seems good. Okay, x dot values equals to reference underscore string. equals to chart a2 a7 so chart equals to line chart we are making so let add the data to line chart object chart dot add underscore data values comma titles t i t t i t l e s titles underscore from underscore data equals to true It should be capital. So let's set x-axis chart dot set categories x underscore values okay let's set chart dot is to sales chart dot access l equals to weeks and chart dot y access dot title equals to put and veggies sales chart dot legend dot position shun equals to b Okay, 
सो डब्ल्यू एस डॉट एड एंड चार्ट चार्ट कॉमा एच वन सेल सो डब्ल्यू बी ओके लेट मी कॉपी दिस कोट फ्रॉम हेयर yeah so here i am importing reference and charts library like this reference and charts library and just giving title as charts you can say here chart uh, so rows are the data from which we will make chart and for loop is to append the data on the workbook chart add data chart add data values titles from data equal to true this is for adding data to the line chart object just giving the title x axis and y axis and all so let's save this and see whether chart is visible or not let's save this okay what is it going cannot import name reference from open file reference okay let me see error in line 2 error in line 2 Okay, sorry, my bad. Okay, now it will workbook fourth number workbook. Okay, W should be capital. W should be capital. Now it will work, I guess. Again, that's reference. Okay. Start values. Start my bad. H A R T C H A R T. Dot save. Okay, W B dot save. Okay, finally no error. So let's save this and see whether chart is visible or not. let me go to the simply learn yeah you can see chart is coming and it is it's looks so good i hope you guys must have understood the concept of automating excel with python if you have any queries or doubt you can ask them in comment section below i will team will respond as soon as possible and if you want this full code just comment for the same Thank you so much for being here. If you enjoyed this live session, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and give like to this video. Thank you and keep learning. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.